Hey guys, it's your girl Sinead B here, and back with another video, we're going to be making beef stew with me. So, this is already heating up. I'm going to put the beef in. Ooh, that's already smoking, so let's get this started. I don't know why my stomach's hurting me. So, we got the beef in here. So, I'm going to start putting... And I know this is going to start sparking a little bit, so I just want to be putting it far. <laughs> Put beef batches in there, and you're gonna season it with salt and pepper. What you're gonna do is really exciting. you're not gonna cook them all the way because they're gonna bake in the oven. And I get a lot of beef because I love beef too. Put olive oil in the Dutch pot. So you have to put three tablespoons of olive oil in the Dutch pot. Um, heat it up over medium high heat. Put the beef back in. I use this pasta to cook it up a bit more. And make sure it's not cooked all the way. And then I put some salt and pepper. So, yeah, just like, put it all over. And then pepper. I never want my stuff to be spicy. Um, so yeah. And you're gonna have to have another bowl because you're gonna have to like put the beef things. Sorry, this is gonna be like here. You're gonna have to put the beef stuff in the bowl because you're gonna be cooking other things and stuff. So I got this recipe off well because I was cooking it for like a while now um, because I always wanted to learn to make it. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. Make sure you get that all around. I just let it cook in there. So I'm cutting up the carrots still and the potatoes so they look like this. And then, yeah, and then I'm gonna start to cut up the garlic. Always make sure you have your like vegetables cut before because it saves you time. I have to learn that a couple of times to be honest with you. So yeah, just cut the carrots. Peel your carrots, peel your potatoes, cut them up. Cut the potatoes in half inch sizes. You can cut your carrots however you want to do it, that circle or in quarters, but I cut them in a circle. And you just put them in the bowl. And yeah. seven garlic cloves. And I use my electric garlic thingy because I do not like using them by hand. And I press on them like this. So I can, it's easier to peel off. And then you just pop them in there. You can wash them. Put them in there. Probably gonna end up buying garlic clothes that are already like peeled. I don't know why someone's hurting me today, yo. Now, since these are halfway done, you wanna put them in a bowl. Tongs, and then just 
take them up like that. And I'll show you what they're supposed to look like before when you're taking them out. This is how they're supposed to look, and it's okay if there's still some pink because it's gonna bake in the oven. I'm gonna put this here. And this, we're gonna get the full garlic started. garlic powder, balsamic vinegar, because you need that to scrape the leaf pieces at the bottom. And a little bit. And then you scrape the um, I to buy onions, so I'm just gonna use onion powder when I'm mixing with the garlic. So you just scrape the beef stuff at the bottom. Cooking, but I actually love it. Only my cookie son over there would eat. But Jelani, when he gets to that age where he's gonna be eating with like teeth and everything, he's gonna love this. Put this so it doesn't burn. Tablespoons, three tablespoons, however you want it, just to get that color. Mix it in with everything. Right. So I'm gonna show you guys like that. Mix it in. Get the beef in there. And you have to add some flour so it thickens, right? Up sprinkle. I'm gonna close this part on my head and just mix it all together so it dissolves. Yeah. I'm gonna a little bit more tomato paste because I kind of like my beast to a little bit red. Two cups of beef broth. All right, put that in. Um, make sure your oven's already preheated 325 as well. Just put two cups of water. Bay leaf. Take one big bay leaf. Teaspoon of some thyme, dried. Oh. Yeah. Well. Mix it up, bring it to a bowl, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. You're not gonna put your vegetables in yet because you have to wait two hours. So this should be done by like six, which is good. It's around dinner time. And then you put it for one more hour, which is not, which is good. So cleaning up a little bit more so that I have less of a mess. Oh, it's already starting to smell so good, guys. I'm gonna also start making dinner for JD on. I'm probably just gonna make him some eggs because he is an interesting kid and I want him to eat, so I'll make eggs on the other side of this, but this is almost boiling, and we're gonna get that in there. So, so I'll wash the dish. Okay, 
dirty, so I'm gonna have to get um, gelato just now. So it's a perfect timing because it's gonna be in the oven. Selling now, so it's gonna go in the oven. Turn that off. Use the because the sides are gonna be hot. So. <laughs> All right. Hey Alexa, set timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. Guys, I'm gonna get to get ready to go pick this little boy up and then I'll be back. Guys, so we're back here. Hey Alexa, how much left on the timer? You have one hour and 15 right, minutes guys, left on so the timer. I'm gonna get started timer. on the eggs for Jelani I and mean for Javion. Jelani's over there in his little chair. He hates the chair, but he's gonna Javion and yes, I get like the big pack of eggs because. Johnny's very cranky because he wants to sleep, but he has to stay up until at least 6 o'clock because um, I want him to sleep through the night and yeah, he wants, I want him to go to bed at the same time his brother goes to bed. So that's why I keep him up. Usually he naps around like after daycare, like 4.30ish, but I was like, nope. So it's hard to get used to for him, but like he's gonna have to get used to it. So put butter to that melt It's coming. Good. Okay, I'll put the Is that he only plays like with the toys and kids now plays with the toys? So, like, yeah, but in there, he's kind of like, I want to play with something else. He doesn't really care to play with well, Unless his brother's playing with it, then he plays with it. He's so cranky. We got one more hour on the timer for the beach. I'm so excited, honestly. I'm ready. Hi, Jelani. So I'm gonna come back when the stew is done, and I'm gonna do with Jelani over here. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. Okay, we're back. My boyfriend's on Facetime. I told him to be quiet. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna take it out, put vegetables in there, and then put it back for another hour, and then it will be done after. So one second. Good, okay. See the vegetables are in? What are you doing? Let me see. Oh, you wanna see? Hold on. Okay. Hold on guys, I'm gonna show him. 
Oh snap, that's what's going on? Yeah. Oh, so I'm just gonna put that vegetable in. I wanna add like another couple of water though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that still. That's a little too. Right? That's a little thick. Right? Yeah, the flower. Yeah. Okay. And you have some time to boil it. Oh, yeah. Not too much, but yeah. I only put like two cups. See, my boyfriend's like a, a sh like, he always has to have an opinion. <laughs> but it's a good opinion, though. <laughs> Yo, don't kill me. Okay, I'm going to mix it up. I'll put it back in there for another hour. Oh. All right. Hey, Alexa, set timer for an hour. One hour, starting now. All right, guys, we'll back when this beef stew is done. So I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm, I was so tired. I literally forgot to film the aftermath of how this beef stew was looking. It looks great. Um, I'll probably do a picture maybe, but it's amazing. It's delicious. I hope you guys make the recipe. Excuse my nails, but they're slowly coming off because they're painful right now. So don't mind them, but I'm exhausted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm so busy with school, so I'm exhausted, but yes. See you in the next one.